You know what I'm looking for in a calendar? A calendar that can be absolutely blazing fast. I'm talking so fast that Usain Bolt would be jealous. And if you check out Vimcal right now, you're probably gonna see something that's similar to a jealousy inducing calendar app. Very similar to other calendar apps, Vimcal is something that leaves you with an extra layer of calendar on top of your general platforms. It claims that you can start saving three hours per week due to its amazing features like slot select availability, overall fast UI, and even AI features that allow you to snag booking links and then have it figure out exactly when you would be available when pasting inside of your calendar app. You can coordinate all of your different calendars across different platforms using Vimcal, and we're gonna jump right into why it's great. So first of all, as you can see, when I hover over any of these, I don't know how to say this any other way, but I actually get to see the information while hovering. This is really weird for me because most tools don't allow you to do this. You have to click in order to see the information. But now when I hover over this, I, I see it, which is step one to it being very quick. Step two is if I press Control K, I can see the command center that allows me to do a lot of different things, like select my availability, and also showcases to me the different shortcuts that are available. Now, one of my favorite parts of Vimcal is if I press F, I can actually see all of the different shortcuts that exist. So by pressing F, I can see that T is gonna lead me to today, U is gonna be previous week, and then next week, and then even then, this is an interesting one right here. Most tools don't allow you to create or select availability with shortcuts, but if I press C, for example, and type out coffee tomorrow at 3 p.m., you see that it jots it right into my default calendar, and then I can change this to say a specific address so that I could say Starbucks reserve on Michigan Ave and then change the calendar if I want to as well. Vimcal also has a tag system. So this can be something that you put in here and change the different colors. So I'm gonna put a tag right in there. This is similar to something that you'd see with a tool like Morgan as well as other calendar apps as well. Now this currently is connected to my Google Calendar but that's not the only ones that you can connect it to. Very obviously, if I press the left bracket, I can then open up the options and see all the different options that I have. There's a desktop app, Chrome extension, mobile, and fun fact, if I press zero, I get sent into focus mode, which is a nice little Pomodoro world I'm living in. But then pressing escape in Vimcal allows you to do pretty much anything. If I press escape right now, it'll get rid of this. And it's very interesting that nearly everything you can just like get out of what it is with escape and all i'm doing is just pressing escape a lot and, and it's making things happen now one of my favorite features inside of mcal is the fact that if i either click here or press a then you'll see that we have a few different options for availability selection i can either pick slots use personal links or do a group vote option so say for example i want to set up a meeting during this time or this time on my calendar i can then not only showcase the fact that it's in CDT and copy this, but I also can pick a specific template. And if I press Z, I can see it in different time zones. So what would that be in Berlin? Interesting, I can see the time difference between these two. And then if I click show every time zone, oh, never have I ever been able to copy this to my clipboard, send it over email, be like, hey, do any of these times work for you? and then a hyperlink to a booking link. That is insanely quick, easy to use, and also makes it a lot easier to understand because many times when people are booking, they kind of want to see the times and based off of whatever time zone they're in, rather than just it saying, oh, it's 9.45 a.m. Central, Dimitri, you're in Chicago? Like, cool for you, but I live in Berlin, so what does that mean to me? But seriously, have you ever met something that has been so easy from an availability standpoint because if i press a again you can then see that there's personal links and very similar to other platforms i can hit edit and then pick the different slots and have people book through those meetings with a meeting link that's very easy to you know set up super simple and it can be set up to check for conflicts with various calendars 
For me, it's usually that my meetings conflicts. This is stuff that's standard, but if you're noticing as I'm going around, there's no buffer time. It's quick. If I wanna get out of it, I press escape. If I wanna do something new, I press F to see where can I find the shortcut that works for me. For example, pressing Z, I know I can see the multiple time zones. Like, let's check out London. Now I got both of them, it's pretty cool. Then I can toggle between the two, I can go back to pressing escape and getting out of this because CDT is my time zone. And say, for example, I want to meet it with someone, Control J, then I just type in my editor Vinny and it would show his calendar. He's syncing up with other editors tomorrow and it's just a fun time. The fact that I can see these sort of things so quickly and easily with a calendar app that isn't gonna be slow and sluggish. And also if I wanna know how to be quicker with it, I just press F and see all of the shortcuts like Boom, now I know how to get rid of that side panel. Or I wanna open up that one or go back, forth, back, forth. I'm being fast to prove a point. I apologize for the fact that that may have been overwhelming. But seriously, VimCal is a cool calendar app. And I do recommend that you try it out in your system. And while I know plenty of calendar apps have prices and this one has a price as well, just know that $15 a month can be worth it if you want to save time you think about the value of your time and this is going to save time $15 a month is a small price to pay in order to get some time back and provide more value I can then get you more money productivity equals dollars <laughs> dollar, dollar. shout out to VimCal and shout out to you for checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more